Well, three months after comedian and actor Bob Saget died, his millions of fans still mourn his loss. An autopsy report shows Saget died from a severe concussion that caused a fracture in his skull and bleeding on both sides of his brain. And Saget's death is a tragic reminder on the seriousness of concussions. This is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and right now, we have about 100,000 Minnesotans living with some sort of brain injury. And one of them is a Minneapolis man who's still recovering and wants everyone to know that he's back on his feet. Henry's doing very well. If you've never seen resilience. And my main thing is that I don't want to trip. Then keep your eyes on the man who defines it. I'm Henry Brummelkamp and I started my own cons computer consulting business. Henry owned a successful software company in addition to helping fund and build schools in Africa, but an accident on a scooter in Denver three years ago severely damaged his brain. I had been in a coma for three weeks, so they didn't really know if I would survive. Henry credits his husband, Jeff, with saving his life and advocating for his recovery. I think it's partly Henry's tenacity and optimism. It's optimism that keeps Henry going. He told his physical therapist the other day when he restarted physical therapy, I'm going to be running a marathon in another year. Part of the assistance in his recovery has come from the Minnesota Brain Injury Alliance, where a resource facilitator has helped coordinate services. And so we're able to really gauge where they are, develop that relationship over time, help to minimize the kind of frustration and disruption that they're experiencing while connecting them to the supports and services they need exactly when they need them. Henry's recovery has been long. But his friends give him constant support. They've been with him every step of the way since the day he woke up from his medications. I woke up and I saw people in my room. And I said, what are you doing here? And that was the, the start of my resurrection. Henry continues to make great progress, and so we're, we're still climbing, and we don't know how far we'll go, but we're hoping for a lot. I really feel that I have a, a long free future. Hmm. Yeah, Henry's message is take brain injury seriously. Wear a helmet, always, he says. Both Jeff and Henry said he always did, but the day that he rented that scooter and had his accident, the scooter rental company was out of helmets. But Henry, he's really making incredible progress, as you can see there. He wants to run that marathon again. He wants mm. to do it in another year. And Henry, when you start, we'll be cheering you on. Yes, we will. Good for him. Yeah.